In this tutorial, you will learn to create a historic beta. In finance, we use the word beta to represent risk, defined as the relative volatility of a stock's returns to those of the market. We use a simple line to represent this relationship. You might remember from your high school geometry that the formula is y equals a plus bx. In this case, we will replace the b with the Greek beta. In this exercise, we will be using a stock's returns as the dependent variable, or y, and the returns from the S&P 500 as the independent variable, or x. The beta we will calculate is historical, though we often use it to estimate the required return for the stock into the future. On the spreadsheet, you can see three columns of data. In column 1, you will see the date for each pair of data points. In column 2 and column 3, you will see the closing prices for the Standard & Poor's 500 index and the stock for that date. Now let's calculate the S&P 500's returns. Since returns are calculated from one period to the next, we will have no data in cell E5. Go to cell E6. To calculate the return from January to February 2002, Subtract B5 from B6 and divide by B5, the index level on January 2002. The result, as you can see, is a loss of 17.0925% over the month. Next, we will repeat this process using the copy function until all the returns are calculated. Now we repeat the same process for the stock. Now that we have created the returns series, we need to estimate the beta. Our next step is to plot the data in a chart. Now to chart the data, first select the data you want to chart. Now select the chart icon on the bar. Once you have selected the chart icon, you will see a drop down box where you have a number of choices. Select the XY scatter and press next. In this small box, you will see a miniature of your chart. Click next, add titles for the X axis and the Y axis. Click on the legend and remove the legend since we don't need it. Continue to click Next. Finally, you get a chance to place your chart on the same sheet or as a separate sheet in your workbook. We are going to put it as a separate sheet in our workbook. Now to calculate the beta. With the chart open, go to the toolbar and click Chart. In the drop-down menu, choose Add a Trend Line. From the menu box, choose Linear, and then go to the Options menu. Click on the box to display the equation on the chart, and the one to display R squared value on the chart. Click OK. As you can now see, the beta for the stock is 0 0.8593 in the regression. This beta represents a stock that moves in a way similar to the market, but is less volatile. And the R squared is 0 0.8627, indicates that the variance of the stock returns are highly related to the variance of the S&P 500 returns.